Hi folks, and welcome back to our channel. Did you know that you spend up to 80% of your waking hours on your feet? And each day, your feet absorb over 2 million kilograms of accumulated pressure. So it's no wonder that from time to time, your feet end up in a world of hurt. It may be especially bad on days you put extra strain on your feet by hiking, running, and jumping. Other causes of tired legs and feet can be abnormal foot anatomy, obesity, poorly fitting footwear, and overuse. Besides kicking back and giving your feet a rest, there are certain remedies that you can try to ease and soothe your tired legs and feet. In today's video, we'll tell you what these remedies are, from soaking your feet to massaging them. Stay tuned to find out more. Number 1. Wear Compression Socks Compression socks are designed to add pressure to your legs and feet in order to maintain blood flow and reduce any swelling or discomfort. Doctors often recommend them if you have varicose veins or a condition that causes poor blood flow. But they're also great for anyone going on a long flight or whose feet hurt from walking all day. Although they may feel a bit tight at times and you may want to pull them off, they are good to have on. They can be great for you if you don't move around much, sleep through a flight, have high blood pressure, or leg swelling. Compression socks also act as great recovery socks. If you wear them during your runs and long hikes and then take them off after, your legs will feel great and at ease. You can buy good quality compression socks online or at your local supermarket. Number 2. Use a cold pad it is possible for you to use a cold pad to relieve tired legs or pain. The cold pad will reduce the muscle pains or any sharp pains in your feet. In case your legs are swollen from standing or sitting all day, it's also possible to reduce the numbness in your feet by using cold therapy. Just wrap some ice cubes in a towel and place this cold pack on the affected area. Number 3. Try elevating your legs Leg elevation is a great way to ease tired legs and feet. Make sure that you place your legs in a higher position. Leg elevation works because it increases the blood flow to your feet. Sometimes your feet might ache and go numb because the blood does not flow to the legs. When trying elevation, choose a wedge pillow. Wedge pillows are the best because they keep you comfortable and you don't feel like you're straining your legs. Number 4. Rub out the pain In health food stores, you can buy a roller specifically designed to massage the soles of the feet. Or you can simply roll your bare foot over a tennis ball, golf ball, or rolling pin for several minutes. You can also massage them by hand with one of the following two homemade oils. 3 drops clove oil and 3 tablespoons sesame oil, or 3 drops lavender oil, 1 drop chamomile oil, and 1 drop geranium oil mixed with 2 teaspoons of olive oil. Number 5. Try a foot bath. Sometimes achy feet are simply the result of your overstressed muscles and connective tissue due to excess activity or weight bearing. One of the best remedies for relaxing sore muscles is a foot bath. Soak your feet in a basin of warm water or a store-bought foot spa for 5 to 10 minutes. Try adding Epsom salts to the water for an added soothing effect. Epsom salts are readily available where your first aid products are sold. Use approximately 1 to 2 tablespoons per gallon of warm water. If your feet are swollen, hot, or tired, use cool water instead of warm and elevate your feet for half an hour or more after the soak. Number 6. Wear the correct shoes Identify which shoes may be contributing to your foot soreness. Switching to running shoes or shoes with a stiffer sole may help. Even sandals come in styles that cradle the arch and have a slightly thicker sole, which is preferable. Also, if your shoes have excess wear and tear, they may be contributing to your sore feet. Worn out soles can change the dynamics of how your feet hit the ground, thus throwing off your biomechanics. Since shoes that are too tight or too loose can lead to soreness and fatigue, have your feet measured the next time you buy your shoes. You may be surprised to find out that you are wearing an incorrect shoe size. If you have bunions, hammer toes, or a neuroma, which is a painful thickening of the tissue around the nerve, Make sure your shoes are wide enough and deep enough in the toe box. Number 7. Give your feet a workout This may seem ironic, but working at your feet can, in fact, help you soothe tired legs. Try wrapping a thick rubber band around all the toes on one foot. Spread your toes and hold the stretch for 5 seconds. Repeat 10 times to relieve cramped, shoe-bound feet. You can also scatter a few pencils on the floor and pick them up with your toes. This little exercise helps relieve foot ache. 
Number 8. Use Chili Oil Chili oil, a popular condiment present in your pantry, can help in healing the achy, tired legs. Capsaicin, the main ingredient of hot chili oil that is responsible for its hotness, can help in blocking transmission of the pain signals, thereby providing fast relief from leg pain. Furthermore, it stimulates blood circulation. To treat your tired legs, simply massage your legs with chili oil and feel the pain melt away. Number 9. Get a foot massage. If you have tired legs that are partially caused by tight, sore, or stiff muscles, and it's not a sports injury, a massage can help ease the tiredness. Directly, massages help inhibit the inflammatory response and promote cellular healing. Indirectly, they also release pain-fighting endorphins, which may explain why some individuals find that getting a massage helps relieve aching legs that are caused by factors beyond just sore muscles, such as vascular or neurological factors. You can try massaging your legs yourself or schedule an appointment with a professional masseuse. Number 10. Try essential oils. Essential oils like eucalyptus oil, clove oil, and peppermint oil have pain-relieving and anti-inflammatory compounds which can be very helpful for tired legs and feet. Just add 3 to 4 drops of eucalyptus oil, 2 drops of olive oil, and 2 drops of peppermint oil into a bucket of hot water. Soak your legs and feet in this water for about 10 to 15 minutes. Rinse with water once you're done. Repeat this twice or three times a week and your feet and legs will start feeling better for sure. Number 11. Try Deep Heat Deep heat can be an effective way to soothe your tired legs and feet because the heat from hot water helps to relax the tired muscles in your legs and alleviate the pain. It also increases blood flow to the area it's applied to. Dip a towel in hot water and squeeze the excess water carefully. Place this towel on your tired legs until it reaches room temperature. Repeat once more. If you have a heating pad or hot water bottle at home, you can use that as well. Use this remedy as required for best results. Number 12. Stretch your legs. Stretching can be key to keeping your legs feeling happy and pain-free. Tight hip flexors will alter the tilt of your pelvis, which is a nightmare when it comes to lower limb and lumbar issues, as it can cause a lot of aching and discomfort. To get started, a really simple hip flexor stretch is to bend your right knee while standing and hold your ankle from behind. Bring your heel towards your backside as far as you can and feel the stretch across the front of your thigh. Just make sure you don't bend at the hips and make it too easy. Number 13. Dry brush your legs. Dry brushing your legs can stimulate circulation in them if they're tired. Try to use a brush with soft bristles. Start brushing from your feet and move upwards to the thighs. Brush in the upwards direction towards the heart. Dry brushing the legs for 10 to 15 minutes helps in reducing the symptoms of tired legs. Number 14. Ditch the extra salt. Did you know that in some instances, modifying your diet can help with leg pain? Diets low in potassium, calcium, or magnesium have been shown to lead to muscle cramps. Try to include foods like sweet potatoes, squash, and broccoli, which are full of potassium, yogurt, sardines, lentils, and cheese for calcium, and spinach, quinoa, and tofu for magnesium. If your salt intake is high thanks to processed foods and added salt, aim to lower it. Along with muscle and leg pain, it can lead to dehydration and raised blood pressure as well. Give these remedies a try the next time you have tired legs and feet and let us know how it worked out for you in the comment section below. Enjoyed this video? Hit like, share, and subscribe to Bestie. Wait, what kind of Bestie are we if we don't tell you about our other awesome videos? Go ahead, choose the left or right video and enjoy.